Well, can I give you a very warm welcome from Hamilton Road Baptist Church and thanks for tuning in just for a few moments so that we can give you an update about what God has been doing amongst us here in the church. We've just completed round one of Equip and it was just incredible to see God at work, uh, discipling men and women, children and young people. But there's no better man than Pastor Keith McElwain who ultimately oversees much of what happens in Equip to let us know some of the highlights about what God's been doing with us. So, Mackers, what's what's God been doing? Yeah, well, Johnny, I only oversee Equip whenever it's going well. So, uh, thankfully, in round one, I can uh, definitely claim that I oversee Equip because it's been a wonderful time for us as a church family together. It's been really encouraging to gather here for five Sunday evenings and to see people continue to show up uh, from four-year-olds to 84 year olds from singles to families coming and, and going into their various rooms and for God's word to be opened in each of the rooms in age appropriate ways for people to begin into the discussion groups and people seeking to get to know each other and seeking ultimately to get to know God and to grapple with his word. I guess in the guys room here where I've been quite a lot of the time it's been great to hear from one uh, Jeff, you just said, as a result of all he's doing, he's going to be more intentional with his son and his discipleship of his son. And that's led to him going out for walks together and praying intentionally. And if that can happen more and more in our church family, that's just so encouraging. And then in the ladies, just heard from one lady who only was able to get to the final couple of sessions, and she just said, I wish I was here for all five of them. She got a real flavour of it. Probably slightly apprehensive about coming, but was really welcomed into her group. Wasn't put under any pressure to chat um, or to answer big hard questions, but just really enjoyed the fellowship. And then to see the ch the children and youth coming in, I think that just speaks volumes for itself. And to see the little children praying up in the loft and learning about uh, great characters of the Bible, and heard from. One of the P6s who's feeling a bit anxious about going into school the last week, and as I said, let's say the first that we've been learning at Kids Academy to really help us and strengthen us. And the, and the parents were just so delighted to see we're discipling their children for real life situations they're in. So, lots of encouragement, and that's just to highlight a few. But, Johnny, tell us what's coming up after. Half term, what's coming up in the four Sundays in November? Lots of people in my time here have asked to be given more encouragement and help about being a parent. And we've never quite had a good enough time to be able to work that in so that their children would also be looked after. So we're going to tackle gospel-based parenting. And there's lots to be said out there about parenting grandparenting, being an aunt, being an uncle, being a teacher, being a classroom assistant, being someone that works with children or young people in church organisations. But what we want to do in these three or four weeks on Sunday nights is actually look at the heart and look at how we as, in a sense, ambassadors of Christ, working with children, parenting children, grandparenting children, can actually bring the gospel to our children and our young people. So that's really what we'll be unpacking over those three or four nights. If you have any contact with children, it's a great opportunity um, to come and to hear God's word being opened up on the subject, uh, to sit in little discussion groups, maybe answering one or two questions, and also hearing from some people who have had children or teenagers or work with uh, young people and children to share some of their practical wisdom. So It'll be a challenge from God's word and yet also hearing practically how we can engage with children and young people with the gospel. But what about the other room? Somebody might say, well, I'm in a stage in my life where I don't directly work with children or young people. I'm not a parent or a grandparent. Is there other things going on, Mackers? Absolutely, Johnny. And we are conscious that the parent track isn't for everybody. But I would say, even if you aren't a parent, you're very welcome to go to that track to seek to understand children and young people a little bit better. But in the other room, we're going to tackle some big questions and we're going to answer some big questions that you have asked and that some of your friends and family 
are asking. It's going to be around this theme of evangelism, um, and it's going to be firstly asking the question, why is it so hard mm -hmm. to share Christ? Mm -hmm. Why, whenever we're in a social setting, do we just become a bit hamstrung in our evangelism? So we're going to unpack that and see some of the encouragements. And then we're going to uh, talk about how do we then get conversations around the Christ? So if you're talking to friends or family or your social clubs, how do you weave Christ into conversations in a very natural way, without being awkward, or without having to get like two ways to live and go through a full gospel explanation? So Jeff McElrath, who's known to us here at Hamilton Road Baptist, mainly through Bangor World, what he's an evangelist and he's built that on a church plant there there. So Jeff's gonna be coming and sharing some of his experiences as well. He's written widely on evangelism and evangelistic eh, eh, material. So we're really eh, looking forward to hearing from Jeff. Then our second two sessions are gonna be sort of answering some of the big questions that our friends and family are asking of, well, is there even a God out there? Society and then North Down, this census is saying 30% are saying they have no faith in God. There's mm -hmm. more people who believe in ghosts than in God in North Down. So we want to tackle that question and then for us to be able to use that in our conversations um, with others. And then our final session is going to be, well, if there is a God and if he is good and if he's in control, why is there so much suffering? In this world it's a big question that non-christians are asking us and we want to arm ourselves and to help ourselves be able to explain from god's word why there is suffering and what hope there is in a world of suffering and dr david glass uh, from jordanstown university who shared that a previous equip uh, in 2021 is going to be coming and helping us tackle those questions so it's going to be teaching from the from there's going to be opportunity for Q&A and for questions and hearing from different people who are in different contexts as well. So there really is something for everybody in this round of Equip. But John, if somebody hasn't been to Equip before, they're still unsure, what encouragement would you give to them? Yeah, well there's just there's so much going on. Uh, a children's track, a youth track, an evangelism track, a gospel based parenting track with myself so there's just there's something there for everyone and I think it's that exhortation from Jesus he said go into all the world and make disciples and disciples are our learners our pupils and this is another great way we as a church or if you're a Christian in the local area that you can come and grow as a disciple and and the apostle Paul then who who picked up that mandate from Christ said we need to be equipping the saints equipping God's people for the work of the ministry. So these equipped nights are just great opportunities to press into the discipleship and to be equipped to follow Jesus. So I'd really encourage you uh, to come and join us. Well, I hope that has given you a real flavour of what's coming up on the four Sunday evenings in November here at Hamilton Baptist for Equip from 5.45 until 7 uh, p.m. And you can sign up for the different options being low. And do even think about inviting somebody along who hasn't been and has a chance to really encourage them as well. So God bless.